Hello and thank you for joining me today. This is Randy with Excel for Freelancers and today we're going to be discussing how to import this pop-up date picker from uh, my application into your own Excel workbook. All right, so let's get started here. We have the uh, pop-up date picker uh, application open and uh, you'll notice that if we select on uh, cell M3, the uh, calendar will pop up, okay? So before we do get started, I wanna make sure that your workbooks uh, are macro enabled. So that's very important. So let's go ahead and open up a new workbook, okay? And here we just have a blank workbook and now we're gonna switch back to our existing workbook and we're going to select on the boundaries on anywhere on the outside of this calendar. Uh, so that we can actually select the entire shape of the calendar and we're going to copy it and we can do that with control C or uh, right click and copy as well. Now that we've copied it we're just gonna we're gonna switch back to our new workbook and we're just gonna paste this anywhere in the workbook. Okay so now it's now it's pasted there and then with the next step uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, open the Project Explorer, which is for the macros, and uh, we can do that a number of ways. We can use Alt F11, or we can go into the Developers tab and switch, go to Visual Basic. If you do not have this uh, Developers tab open, you can get to it really quickly and easy by going into the Options, and then selecting the Quick Access, uh, excuse me, the Customized Ribbon, and then making sure the Developer item is selected here. Once that's selected, it will appear in a tab on your menu. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select it, and we're going to open up this. And once you find uh, the Developers tab, you're going to see two workbooks open. One is your uh, new workbook. Generally, it'll be book two, three, or four, or whatever. And you'll have the existing Date Picker workbook. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to open up, we want to expand all of them, okay, expand until we can see this module, okay, and we're looking for this pop-up calendar module, and all we're going to be doing is dragging this module into book four, okay, and what that basically does is it copies that module directly into the book four, so now if we look at it, we've got this same module in the our new workbook. Okay. Secondly, what we want to do is we want to copy uh, the code that's on the sheet. And we can do that within our existing date picker workbook. We're going to double click on this sheet here, right? And then all we're going to go into the main area here and we're going to do control A, which basically selects everything. Okay. All the code is selected now. And then control C, which will copy the code. Okay, next step, we want to go back into our workbook and whichever sheet you want to place this pop-up calendar, for our purposes, we're going to use sheet one, but we'll double click on that. And again, we're going to copy this. We want to get rid of that. We want to paste it clean and we're going to paste all that code. So we've basically got a duplicate copy of all the code here in there. Okay, so now we've, we've uh, pasted in all the code. And so we're set up with the code and now we can return back to our workbook and we'll go back into the new workbook and we have to decide, okay, what cell do we want this in? Well, let's try C3, okay? So we'll just put a date here and then in C3, we want our, we want our calendar to pop up when we click C3. So we have to make one little change to our code in the new workbook. Okay, so let's switch back to the code, to the code and we can see here, uh, make sure we're in the new workbook uh, on the second area, we have M3. Well, we need to change this cell to the cell that where we want the pop-up calendar to appear when selected. And in our case, that's C3. If you have multiple cells in which you want that pop-up calendar, you can do C3, C4, C5 like that. For our purposes, we will keep it just as C3. And that's it for the functionality. Once we go back to the new workbook, now all we need to do is click in C3 and the calendar pops up okay and then selecting any other cell it's going to disappear so that's it for for the code as well now also when we uh, are having the existing code if we do have any protections on the sheet we want to make sure that uh, we we open up and we look in this code and we can add some protections in here if we want to we can do that we can we would do unprotect uh, here under the calendar hide and, and unprotect under the active sheet and then make sure you protect them again at the end. Okay, so make sure if you want to add, if you need to have protection, you add them in the code as well.
And that's pretty much it. Uh, so we're good to go. Uh, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, just please let me know. And uh, one more thing, when you're saving this new workbook, let's go ahead and let's go back to the work. When you're saving it, you want to do file and then save and make sure that the new workbook is macro enabled. SLXX means not macro enabled. So it's really important. We want an Excel macro enabled workbook. Um, that ends with XLSM, M standing for macro. Okay, and then we would save that. That's a critical part. If we don't, uh, we will our macros will be gone. So we want to make sure to do that. Thank you very much for watching this. I do appreciate it.